the disciple known as Philip in the Bible, you know he teleported, right? He, um, in the book of Acts, he was, um, he heard this, um, it was a eunuch from Ethiopia. He was under um, Queen Candace, and he was reading Isaiah in the chariot, and he was on his way to his service. He was on his way to the temple. Um, so Philip uh, snuck up beside the chariot and heard what was being read. He heard that the um, eunuch was reading Isaiah. So he, uh, you know, he basically hopped in and was like, hey, you understand what you're reading? The eunuch was like, how can I understand what, uh, what I'm reading? Um, and after that, um, starting from the book of Isaiah, um, Philip explained all everything pointing to Christ. So the eunuch ordered the uh, chariot that he was being carried by to stop. They found some water and the eunuch was like, well, sin, what's stopping me from being baptized then? And Philip was like, nothing. After the baptism, and this is this is interesting. After the baptism, immediately after, as soon as uh, the eunuch came up out of the water, it said Philip was gone. He disappeared, and he appeared, reappeared in the land called Azotus. What happened? He teleported. And if you don't believe in teleportation, then I challenge you to research the Philadelphia experiment, where teleportation took place, where people jumped through a time hole. And proved that time travel is real. And also look at the Montauk Project, which is like a part two to the Philadelphia Experiment. You're going to have to believe one or the other. Well, you can believe one or the other. It says it not only in your, your scriptures, but it also says it, you know, right here in the world. Uh, under the Freedom of Information Act. Released by your very own governments.